I like deleting things from the timeline, so I'm going to select all again, Command A, Control A on a PC, and then delete everything. And bring in our original grandfather clock again. You saw when we did this original edit that we spent a lot of time running up and down here changing tools. And in our Pro Tools career, we're going to try and save, oh, I don't know, a week or maybe a year by using the Smart Tool. Here's how it works. If I zoom in, we know the keystroke for that. I'm in shuffle mode now. And if I reach in here and trim this, I get the trimmer on the center line of the audio file. Center line is the place between the left and the right, or on a mono file, it's just the middle. That's where the tool occurs. So let's go through them all. So the selector occurs on the top of the center line. The grabber occurs on the bottom of the center line. The trimmer occurs right on the center line. And we get other tools like the fade tool up in the corners. So if I reach up into this corner, there's a fade in tool. Let's see what that sounds like. The chime now fades in, the wind up type sound. Notice that my trimmer is available on this fade. What does that mean? Well, it can trim the fade. I'm actually not trimming the audio file now, I'm trimming the fade. And a fade is like an overlay. It's there, but if you decide you don't want it, you reach with the grabber, hit the delete key, the fade goes away, but the underlying audio stays. You saw me reach in in the last movie, and let's see, if I command E this, and I command E that, there was a little area down here where I did a crossfade. So at the bottom, not the upper corner where I get the regular fade tool, but at the bottom I get a crossfade tool. And it's just a click and push kind of thing, and you can make a fade be very big or smaller. And that's the crossfade tool. All right, let me undo that. Undo this chopping that I did, and let's move back to the beginning and let me show you one more thing. The two modes we use most, I think, in this type of editing are shuffle and slip. And here's the difference between them. In shuffle mode, if I trim this piece off and start right there where the noise starts, let me undo that, put the little piece back. In shuffle mode, if I trim it, this piece jumps over to the wall. It fills the gap. In slip mode, if I edit, I leave the gap. And that's the difference between shuffle and slip. It's one of the differences. There's lots of ways we use shuffle in music editing and so forth, so we'll get to that later. It depends on, do you want to leave the hole or not? Practice that a little bit, deciding whether you want to use shuffle mode or slip mode before you get there. The handy tool on a Mac is you can switch modes using the F1, F2, F3, and F4 keys. Now we'll deal with spot and grid mode later on, but let me switch back to F1. Now, if your keys aren't set up that way, go to System Preferences and Keyboard and use the F keys as standard function keys. Let me close out of that. And I think I've made a good case for why you should use the Smart Tool. So practice the Smart Tool a bit. The selector on the top, the grabber on the bottom, the trimmer on the center line. You can trim the end as well. Fade tools in the corners. Fade out, fade in, and a crossfade tool at the bottom. 